Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Magic Flying Potato here. So I had a question asked yesterday from one of my uh, subscribers, Bobby. He was asking about how do I get the photo mode using the Xbox controller? Because I did a video uh, a couple days ago on the photo mode using your keyboard, but not your the with the Xbox controller. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got my camera put on my Xbox controller. I got my Xbox controller plugged into my PC. Same commands, same same control options and everything like that. I'm just running through my PC just to clarify that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get started with this. So in order to get to your photo mode using your Xbox with your Xbox controller right here, you take your D-pad and you push the down button on your D-pad. It will bring up your executable screen. Uh, so the icon you see on the left side, that purple icon, which is a camera, you take your right joystick right here and you push it left to highlight it. Uh, once you got it highlighted, go ahead and push your A button and it will go ahead and go into the camera mode. Don't mind what my bottom screen says right now, again, because I'm plugged into PC and... Oh yeah, so it then sometimes it shows tab and my keyboard commands. This time it went directly to the Xbox controller commands. So what I'm gonna do is uh, you use your your right uh, joystick to for the orbital. Uh, left right is of course to orbit left right around your character. Up and down will do up and down orbit. Uh, if I click the top left mouse uh, top left mouse button, the top left controller button right here, this one. Uh, it will switch to free cam. So at free cam, this means I can move this camera anywhere in the world I want to. I don't. It is not locked on the team uh, themselves. So I could take this camera and once again put it anywhere in the world that I want to. Um, any angle, anything like that. Uh, if 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 you don't want to do that and you want to go back to your character, go ahead and hit your left top button again on your Xbox controller brings you back to the back side of your character. So you got to spin it back around to the front side of your character. If that's where you want to take the picture. Now to get into the photo mode, we're going to go ahead and hit the Y button right here and you get the photo settings. Now on the photo settings, when I first started doing this, uh, you use your right joystick up and down to select the different options that you want to do. Uh, for me, when I was doing it at first, I didn't realize that it was selecting the different options because on my monitor, I'm not sure if this is what it would look like on the TV, but it barely highlights what I have selected. So I don't know if that'd be an issue on your TV as well. But uh, yeah, so you could kind of see that it kind of turns like a darker, a little bit darker gray, but it, it, it is really hard to see. Uh, so just... Yeah, I don't know if that's within game or just my monitor setting. So the very top one, hide teen, we're going to go ahead and hit our A button. And that will hide the teen if you don't want the teen in the picture. Uh, if you want your teen in your picture, you just go ahead and click A again. And it will bring your teen back into the picture. With the left, the left joystick, we're going to click down once. And that click that selects poses. We'll click the A button, and this up down on the left joystick will select whichever whichever pose that you want to do. We'll go ahead and do the air guitar. Click down one on the left joystick. Click A for scrub up pose timeline. This is like the different stages of the pose within the air guitar, kind of like stop motion type thing. Uh, so whatever you want for your character, your your team to do during the the photo shoot, uh, that's where you go ahead and select that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and bump the stick down once again. Hit, okay, go ahead. Once I got the, the time selected, I'm going to hit A, which kind of locks that one in place. Bump my left joystick down once. The field of view, go ahead, click A. And this will zoom in and out. So you can zoom way in or way out on your team, depending on how, how you want your picture. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with 80. Uh, go ahead, click A. That locks that into place. Now, the aperture, uh, I'm not a photographer or, or, or an expert on photography, but uh, from what I read, it, it does one of a few things. Um, in photography, you could adjust your, lights, your light settings with your aperture or your background focus. Uh, so with the other video I did on PC, I was actually closer to 
the, the some of the objects in my background were closer so i was able to either bring those back into focus or move them out of focus using that aperture but that was depending on how close it was to me being that i am way up here and all that stuff in the background is pretty far away if i do click a and then do my uh left joystick left and right it, it it's really not making a difference at all as you can see um of course when i was doing it on pc i also had to do my focus distance i had to bring it way down so we're going to go ahead and just uh select a to click out of the aperture and use the left joystick down one uh select a to click uh select focus distance and i'll bring it down and as you can see on because i'm so far away from everything it really doesn't take effect until I am very down in the percentage. So right there, it's pretty blurry. So I'm going to click A and go up to Aperture and see if I can get this to focus in and out. Okay, so my character did focus in. And everything in the background is still pretty blurry. So we'll go ahead and just kind of keep it right here at the time. Go ahead click a i'm gonna go back down here and do the focus distance bring it way back out because again it, as as you can see i brought it all the way to 100 and the background really didn't do much um go ahead click down once uh on your left joystick and then click a for a camera tilt now this will tilt the camera uh on a cockeyed type angle like this so you could kind of get all funky with it we'll leave it we'll leave it at zero at this one click a to click out of it now the effects, uh, kind of like with your phone camera, the um, that's what these effects are. This will bring in, as you can see, the uh, the vignette kind of brings in the. There is a dark circle uh, coming in around the outside of the picture as I go higher with it. So if I go up to 100%, it darkens the outside edges while still kind of leaving the character untouched for the most part if i do my left joystick all the way to the left it, it, it removes that all together so we'll just go ahead and leave it at zero for me uh and then click a to select a uh, filter again when you play with your your phone camera or something like that you got your different options so click a and then your left joystick click down and we'll just click a for this is a uh, sepia black and white uh, left joystick down a button to select the science marinade um a button to change to select it uh left joystick down one or up depending on what you want this is doom and gloom two-step retro billy hog apocalypse so we'll just uh, we'll go with two-step ret uh, retro for right now okay so what i'm going to do is uh use my left joystick and click down one more to filter blend let's go ahead and see what this does this this kind of changes the the filter color tone the blending the colors together so if i leave it at 100 percent, that is the two-step retro full filter effect right there as i use my left joystick and go to the left with it to bring my percentage down as you can see the color just kind of normalizes back to what we had originally uh so you can adjust your different color settings with it in this if you don't want the full effect you just that's what the filter blend is for go ahead and click a to, to select that where you want to lock it in at film grade okay grain uh select a and this will make your picture kind of grainy it is kind of hard to see um it's easier to see when you're actually doing it but this adds the graininess to your picture in the background uh, when you're playing around with it you'll definitely see that the, the, the picture background in the entire picture basically and I need to quit hitting my camera with my hand I forget it's like right here where my hands are at I apologize for that uh, okay let me see if I got it right okay so yeah so this this just affects the graininess of the picture I will go we'll go to 25% select uh, click a to keep uh, to select that option and then do the right mouse button right mouse button uh so used to using my mouse okay so use my left joystick controller and bump it down one uh this is the chromatic variation i probably did not pronounce that right so go ahead click a and use your left mouse your left mouse button there i go again your left controller joystick left and right to 
to adjust the uh, chromatic variation. Now this, if you can see it, it, it kind of separates the red, blue, green, the, the color spectrum. So if you kind of look, um, look down near her right foot and you can see just how it, it separates the colors. Um, Right, right about there, you can see it, the the reds and the blue and the green kind of like coming out of it. So yeah, that's that's what that is right there. So yeah, after you after you get everything that you want with this, um, and you're ready to take your picture, go ahead and hit your B button to select back, and hit it once, and then hit it once again, and it will save what you did. So this is all the adjustments that I did make. Now, we're right here, what we're going to do is we are going to, um, you could toggle, if, if you want to get rid of the HUD and everything that you see on the screen at the time before you take your picture, go ahead and click your X button right there. That will remove everything off the screen, uh, but if you forget which button to press to take the picture, go ahead and click X again, and it will bring it back up to show you what the HUD is. All right, so yeah, you will need to click your right mouse, your right mouse button, your right button on your Xbox controller. This is not a mouse. This is a controller. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the HUD by hitting X and on the top right controller button. I was going to say mouse once again. I did not. We're going to just go ahead and click it. And you saw the screen kind of flash. That means it took the picture. All right. So we're going to bring the HUD back up by clicking X. Uh, and um, if you want to see where your photo went to, you push your D-pad to the right. This, this right one right here. And it will take you to wherever your photo uh, is stored at. Again, I'm on a PC. So this will store it on a folder within my hard drive. Um on your on your xbox again it will store it in a folder uh just not sure where it is but it will show you when you do your photo archive um so if you want to reset everything that you did if you didn't want this picture and you're like yeah i don't want to do this i want to take something else or you take one and you want to take a different picture go ahead and click your uh y button once again and so there's two things you could do you could either go through all these options again um and, and choose all new options or if you just want to reset to reset factory default for this the photo settings you take your left joystick right here and you just push down is that my left one that is my right one right and left this is my left hand right here so you take the left joystick oh, wow <sighs> okay so anyways must be a rough day for me uh you take your left joystick you push it down and it will reset all your factory um, options for just photo settings. This doesn't reset your game or anything like that. It just sets every resets everything within your photo mode settings. So hopefully this video helps. I'm going to hit click B to back out of this. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Again, this is for the Xbox controller. I figure I would go ahead and include this one for one of my tutorial videos. Let me know what you think. And once again, this is Magic Flying Potato, and you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyard. I am Oot.